what's up guys i am back i am here to give you guys an update on where i'm at in my ivf cycle so as you can see i'm all in my pjs and everything but basically i don't think i've filmed anything since my failed cycle which was august end of august so after that fail cycle you had to wait for everything to kind of get back to normal and then I went in for like the consultation over everything. And then my doctor wanted to do a biopsy. And basically what the, the purpose of the biopsy was to kind of rule out the timing of whether or not they put the embryo in at a good time. So there's like a generic amount of time that they usually put the embryo in, which is five days after progesterone, 120 hours. So anyway, in order for me to do the biopsy, I had to start everything over as if I was getting ready for a cycle. So I had to do all the ejections, all that, everything up to the point of the biopsy. So that came back and the test was good. They didn't like, they weren't under or over on the timing. So that's good news. And that's why I'm here today because now I am getting ready for transfer number two. So today is November 17th and I'm starting injections today. I'm starting Lupron tonight and also making sure that I'm taking all the pills that I'm supposed to be taking. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm taking for all the pills and um, yeah. So I just wanted to do a quick video just to kind of keep track of everything that's going on. So this is video number one, and I'm just gonna organize what I will be taking for next, this week and maybe next week. So yeah, join me while I show you guys how I'm gonna organize the stuff that I'm supposed to be taking this week. Yeah. So this is my little basket. Um, I like using this because it keeps everything kind of organized and I only put what I need and what I'm using at the time in here. So, for so this week I have, I keep my gauze sponge. I brought the wrong one. These are the extra large, but I cut them so it lasts longer anyway. Then I have the little um, band-aids, just little mini ones. I have a pill organizer, but I don't really use it. I need to. So now, like my vitamins. So I've been using the Nature's Made Prenatal Vitamin. Um, this one is almost done because I've been using it for the last, it's probably 20 in here. So I'm going to say 30 days. Using it for about 30 days. These are some two COQ10 that I was taking. They're pretty much done. These are the gummies. But I did end up getting the soft gels. Yeah, the soft gels. I haven't been taking these, but I'm going to get back on it now. I have my birth control, which I have about three days left of it. Well, three days that I'm supposed to take it, three, four days. So I have these in here as well. And this one is the Lupron. This is the first injection that I'm gonna be taking. This is the um, Lupinide, Lupinide Acetate. And this goes in my belly. So I'm starting this this week. This is an empty one. I'm getting a refill tomorrow. And then baby aspirin. I'm supposed to take um, one of these. I think it's one. Yeah, one baby aspirin every day. Um, I guess it helps with blood flow or something like that. Not sure, but I'm taking those. I've been taking them. I'm just about to get back from that. I'm taking um, folate. Oh, folate. One by one every day, 
and this is like taking folic acid but this i think this one is like stronger and better and i get it through like a prescription so i'm starting back with my l folate my baby aspirin and this is new for me but i'll be taking melatonin this is the three milligram um i did google it if you look it up you'll see the benefits of melatonin with ivf oops and this little, like I said, this little thing just keeps me organized. Then I have some um, alcohol prep pads. Alcohol prep pads. And these are the gauges that I already cut in little squares. It makes it easier. And I have some markers and pens. I do not start these until I think another week before I get into the other medication but I just kept them since it's gonna be you know soon so these are the patches that I put on this is the bell these are the estrogen patches there's the estradiol injection this one goes on the glutes patches this and then these are the estradiol pills and they go under my tongue three times a day so that's coming up in about another week, but I just wanted to keep them all, basically keep it organized. So yeah, if you're going through IVF, get you like, you don't have to spend money and buy a new container organizer or anything like that. I literally had this sitting under the kitchen cabinet and I just pulled it out and decided to use it to keep organized. So that is everything that I'll start doing from tonight. This guy's like, this is almost full. Heck, it is. The big container. And this is how many. And I have another mini um, sharps container that was already full in the beginning. So this is all I've done since the last transfer and then the biopsy stuff. And then last but not least, I have my journal back out which I haven't used in a while so this is another I would recommend this this is about $15 I'm gonna say I would recommend this journal and I'll talk more about it in my other video so hey this is how I'm getting ready for this next transfer I'm super excited it's really it's definitely a journey an emotional one but I'm ready and I feel good, so I'll keep you guys posted.